Hi, welcome again to this edition of the Bell Performance video blog. I am Eric Bjornstead with Bell Performance, and today we're going to talk about this question of does premium gas have ethanol in it? That is a search term that has been trending a little bit this past year on YouTube because there are a certain number of people out there who, uh, apart from thinking that premium gas is better all around than regular gas, one of the reasons they think it's better is because they think, for whatever reason, that it does not have ethanol in it and therefore does not cause the same kind of ethanol-related problems that regular gas does. Now, um, premium gas, there are a lot of people that swear by putting only premium gas in their vehicles and uh, to be sure there are some vehicles that require premium gas uh, for those vehicles they are typically specified in the owner's manual uh, for the people who swear by putting premium gas in cars that don't really need it well we tend to lump those people in with the same people who swear that you have to change your oil every 3,000 miles there's nothing wrong with doing that but it may not be the most cost-effective way of doing things and you may not be getting as much benefit uh, as you think. So, that being said, uh, we have talked about on the blog that the ethanol requirements, specifically going state by state, do have a certain amount of variation in them. There are some states that exempt certain classes of gasoline from whatever ethanol requirement they've adopted on the state level. Now, uh, as of 2012, as of the present time, there are um, two states uh, specifically that have exemptions for premium gas not having to have ethanol in it. Those two states are Missouri and Montana. That means if you don't live in those two states, then it is very likely that your ethanol, uh, uh, excuse me, your premium gasoline has ethanol fuel in it. Now, Remember, we are talking about on-road gas here, just the regular gas that you put in your cars and trucks. We're not talking about uh, you know, aviation gas or marine gas, uh, off-road gas. You know, we're talking about the standard on-road gas that you buy at the fuel pump. So, only two states are there in the Union, Missouri and Montana, where the premium gas is exempted from having to have uh, ethanol in it. So, for the rest of us, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're buying regular or premium gas you're still getting ethanol in it. Now, it makes sense that premium gas would have ethanol in it because the refiners use the ethanol to try and raise the octane rating. Again, we've talked about this a couple of different times on the Bell blog, but it's worth repeating. Um, many times a refiner will take a lower octane gas, uh, let's say an 87, and then they will add ethanol to it in order to raise it up to whatever it has to be, whether it's 89 or 91 or 93. And so that, that that's just more confirmation that premium gas is very likely to have ethanol in it. So uh, if you were thinking that you weren't getting ethanol in your premium gas and you don't live in Missouri or Montana, well then unfortunately you are out of luck. Uh, so thanks very much for joining me today with the Bell Performance Video Blog. Uh, if you like this blog, then uh, feel free to like it on YouTube and feel free to subscribe to the Bell Performance YouTube channel and to the Bell Performance blog at bellperformance.com. Thanks very much for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.